Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back one final time to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. As always, today I will be bringing our Pro Skater videos to a close with a look at what is hopefully all the easter eggs hidden in the game. We've got a couple of old ones but loads of new easter eggs to get through so let's stop wasting time and get into it. Let's start with something small that has no purpose at all. Why not? On every single map in the game, you'll be able to find a small piece of hidden graffiti that looks exactly like this. Oh, you found me is very apt here indeed. In fact, apart from this one in school 2, I also found one in the mall and also in the hangar. There's still a lot more out there, so see how many you can find. With Tony Hawk's name being plastered across the game, it's no surprise that within the game's world, he's seen as almost a godlike figure. Take, for example, the hidden area of Marseille. Down in this secret chamber, you can find ancient statues of Tony looking like a Roman god. But that's not all, because if you pay attention, you'll also be able to spot this crest depicting Tony in various maps as well. Oh, one more you say? Okay, sure. Over in Skate Heaven, floating off in the distance, you can see an alternate version of Mount Rushmore sporting Tony and friends. We're heading over to the mall now, and what we're here to see is just the mall's name. Dead Pine Mall is likely a reference to both the Twin Pine Mall and later the Lone Pine Mall from Back to the Future. The main difference seems to be that since this mall has been shut down and is now decrepit, the pine tree has died. Sticking in the mall for now, you may notice as you explore there's a couple of real world branded shops dotted about. Both Adidas and Vans make an appearance. Okay, so this isn't really an easter egg, but I did just want to mention it. These brands, along with Red Bull, Beats, Nike, Monster Energy, and a few others appear throughout the game. Now, considering the recent backlash at UFC for including adverts in the middle of gameplay, I was kind of surprised to see these plastered everywhere, but I guess it is a lot less egregious than EA's greedy methods. Let's look at something a bit more positive next. Found notably in mall and downtown, movie posters can be found with many containing little easter eggs. The poster for Cold Soup has three easter eggs for example. Hasta la Gaspacho Baby is a reference to Terminator's Hasta la Vista Baby. Alongside this, the actors' names are Leonardo Di Gaspaccio and Matt Rahman. Clearly a play on Leonardo DiCaprio and Matt Damon. Another poster is for a movie called A Board From Hell. This movie features Elijah Wood as Ouija Wood and Kristen Bell as Kristen Hell. Okay, just two more simpler posters now. Creature From The Hudson River is a parody of Creature From The Black Lagoon and Prey Skater is Pro Skater. That one's pretty obvious. While we're on the subject of posters, Hangar has essentially been turned into a giant shrine to previous Tony Hawk's games. The good ones, that is. They're absolutely not hidden in the slightest, so let's just go through them all quickly now. Neversoft are the old developers of the Tony Hawk's franchise. After that, we have Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, the original Tony Hawk's Underground, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, Pro Skater 2, and Pro Skater 4. Then we have Tony Hawk's Project 8. And finally, we have the original Pro Skater in the center of the room. There's also a second American Wasteland poster, so I feel like the developers definitely have a favorite. Speaking of the past, we're gonna slow down for a moment now to take a look at a couple of memorials featured in the game to two people related to the series who have passed away. This Grosso Forever tribute references Jeff Grosso, a skater featured in previous games that sadly passed away in March of this year. Matt Helsum, an ex-employee at Vicarious Visions, is also tributed with the Matt Helsum Memorial Gymnasium after passing away in July of last year. 
Matt is also honoured once more with this graffiti in Philadelphia. As you explore each level, you may have noticed some garden gnomes hanging about. Sometimes they're pretty standard, other times they're hiding away in the cinema, sometimes they're having a meeting in Skate Heaven, and just once you might even be able to find one that's brutally murdered a teddy bear. I have no idea what's going on here. One of the best parts of old games were cheat codes. We don't really see them all that much anymore, but after completing each main game in Pro Skater, you'll be given some cheats to play around with. They're hidden away in the game options and do a few fun things from doubling your score, improving your stats, to completely changing the render style of the game. I think the most interesting cheats though are the ones for both giant skaters and tiny skaters. There's just something I kind of love about both of these cheats, even though they are totally impractical and frankly pretty stupid. Next up, Neversoft were always known for their edginess, let's say. That stuff's mostly been removed from these remakes to make them more audience friendly, but there's a tiny bit left that you may have missed without an eagle eye. To see it, however, we're gonna have to kill our custom skater. Over in the menu, all you have to do is delete them. I was growing pretty fond of her. It's worth a quick mention that that skeleton is actually a playable character if you bought the deluxe edition, which I didn't. One last thing that I completely forgot to add in until right now is that Jack Black's character that he voices in the game, Officer Dick, is actually unlockable as a playable character. I didn't realise this until just now, but to unlock him you need to complete all the challenges for the creator skater. I have no idea where I am on that, so here's a picture. We're here in the hangar, and a small detail that you might ordinarily overlook is actually the easter egg we're here to take a look at. These boxes on the ground are for Banjo Champion, a very clear parody of Guitar Hero. Now it's worth a quick mention that this was likely included because the developers of the original version of Pro Skater, Neversoft, also were responsible for the Guitar Hero franchise. So this easter egg is essentially just paying homage to another incredibly popular series created by Neversoft. It was just a matter of time before the recent coronavirus pandemic started to infect our games. One place I did not expect to find it was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, but I guess this truly is a game of its time. The references to the virus in the game start small but snowball on from there. I guess that's just like the real thing. Right, let's start in the creator skater. If you head into the facial hair section, yeah, I don't know why it's here either, you can find a surgical mask. Because even in Pro Skater, it pays to be safe. This mask is fully customizable with a bunch of different colors you can choose from, and it also looks pretty cool too, so yeah, you might just want to use it. We're jumping into school now, and the reference here can be found near the pools. On the giant video screen, a number of messages with references to the pandemic can be seen. This one says, Thank you for all your hard work and patience this year as we faced the challenges with learning from home. This is clearly a reference to the home and online schooling that resulted from the lockdown. There's a second message that also reads, We wish you and your families good health and safety during this difficult time. With help from our community, we will be working towards a new normal in the fall. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Next up, we're in New York City. The first reference to COVID-19 can be found pretty much everywhere, actually. You'll see these posters dotted all across town. The first reference is the most subtle. The Theatre Bill poster is for a show called The Bug and features a gas mask. The second poster offers guidance on social distancing and washing your hands. All very important things in our current climate. This isn't the only reference in New York, however, as on one of the billboards, you'll be able to watch an advert promoting wearing a mask, social distancing and hand washing. 
Jumping over to Venice Beach now, you may have noticed a plane trailing a banner flying around the beach. Well, there's actually a few messages this banner can display, but the interesting one for us is this Masks Save Lives banner. You know, there's also a banner saying wash your hands, but I didn't manage to grab the footage for that one. Actually, scratch that, I just managed to get the footage. Here it is. Finally, we're heading over to downtown for perhaps the cheekiest COVID-19 Easter egg of all. If you make your way up onto the rooftops, there's a gap here that will let you reach the adjacent building by smashing through its windows. Inside this room, you'll be able to find just where all that hoarded toilet paper went from the initial weeks of the outbreak. There's an alien in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. And I'm not just talking about the one that can be found in Roswell. Break out the drums. While that alien is cool enough on its own, what's even better is that you can actually unlock it as a playable character. And I'm here to show you how. So on every single map in Pro Skater 1 and 2, you can find an alien plushie. Collecting them all is fairly easy. That being said, however, the hardest part of unlocking this secret will be that you'll have to unlock Skater Heaven to find the final plushie, which to unlock, you'll need to complete Pro Skater 2 to 100%. But you know, once that's done, you're free to collect them all. Once you collect that final plushie in Skater Heaven, you will complete the Roswell Challenge. Not only does this unlock the skin, but you'll also get an achievement for all your efforts. All you have to do now is claim the challenge and the alien is yours. I freaking love the alien's design and especially that he has all his own animations in the menus. And when you're playing as the alien, it even has original audio. It's basically just a fully fleshed out character and well worth the effort to unlock. So then, there we have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, go follow me on my new Instagram, where I'm just starting to post all sorts of gaming related content. For now, I've been the Royal Gorilla, over and out. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer, no ordinary let's player, no bad easter eggs much better, da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla Even bigger than the giant Godzilla Follow him in every game he goes da, da, da.